So you're thinking about moving to Phoenix, Arizona, you got no idea the perfect place for you. Well, I moved here too, and I didn't have a clue either, but going through all these areas and helping dozens and dozens of clients all around the entire Phoenix Metro, in this video, I'm going to bring up the map. I'm gonna show you each section, each place, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to see some of the areas that you might like to live, but most importantly, a bunch of areas that you can rule out that you would never want to live in. So. If you wanna learn exactly, or at least close, where you wanna live right in the Phoenix area, we're getting after it right now. What's up everybody, this is Jackson Wilkie with the Living in Phoenix channel. If this is your first time to this channel, you wanna learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play, and exactly those perfect locations for you to live or not to live, Make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And we honestly are getting so many phone calls, emails, texts every single day from people moving and relocating here. We absolutely love it. So thinking about moving anywhere in the Phoenix area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back. We're moving to old sunny Phoenix, Arizona. All right, so like promised, I'm gonna bring up the map because you just gotta see this kind of stuff. You know, you can't really get it by reading and I'll be able to actually zoom in far enough to get right into the streets and show you different styles of homes and what's there. So I'm gonna paint this picture, like I mentioned, of a few areas you're gonna like to live, but most importantly, a couple of them that you can rule out. So what I wanna do is I wanna jump over to the map and the whole time I'm doing this, I really want you guys to be interactive and comment down below hey, that's my area, hey, that's not my area, or I would like that, or I wouldn't like that. I need to know this stuff so that when I shoot more videos for you guys, I know what to talk about and comment on. So so uh, make sure you guys are commenting the whole video of what you like or questions about what you're seeing. So what I gotta do is I gotta go and scare, share the old screen here. So here's a pretty zoomed out look of, of Phoenix. And, and obviously you can't cover everything. This place is, is massive and growing every single day, but I'm kinda just gonna go around the clock and show you everything again. Get out the notepad, the pen, make sure you're commenting down there. Your questions will answer those. But first and foremost, when you think about Phoenix, the downtown Phoenix area is, you know, it's pretty cool. There's there's stuff to do down there, but we're not really getting, you know, we've literally had probably hundreds of, of people call and, and that we're helping. And, you know, Phoenix, downtown's never usually an area. So I'm not really going to focus on it, even though it's right here. But since we are zoomed in, we'll start right here. And the, the main one that, you know, obviously a lot of people pay attention to is, is Scottsdale. But this is the crazy part about you, you think of Scottsdale as just like this little area. Oops. Scottsdale, Arizona. Look at how big it is when you actually click it. Uh, just a, a little fraction of it is actually down here. The majority of it is is going up into here. And so this is where we're seeing actually the majority of the growth um, opportunities, I think, to get in. In fact, Jesse, who's our business partner on this channel as well is up in this area right now. He scored a house that got a couple hundred thousand dollars in equity already. So if you want help finding that one, he is the master at that. Um, but this is an area of Scottsdale. I couldn't believe how big, it's like 40 something miles long. Uh, and as I zoom back in, I'm just gonna kind of touch on a few different areas of Scottsdale. Like I mentioned, there's like hundreds. So when you see this right here, Scottsdale on the map, that's gonna be your old town Scottsdale. Okay, so this is your top of the line shopping. You know, can't get my wife out of this place. But this is what everybody loves, especially, you know, the fashion square. So really, um, and if you look at our living in, in Scottsdale vlog, we vlogged this, me and Cheryl, and we showed some of the condo living that's, you know, just outside of it. But um, really, it's all the shopping. And people love, you know, that old town, but they're not truly, you know, living down there, gravitating towards there. There is some older neighborhoods that have the appeal, you know, those homes that, you know, the, the um, you know, have been completely modified, uh, updated, whatever in the area. But we're typically seeing people, if they really um, want to stretch the budget and, and have luxury, especially California, um, the people moving from California. This is Cheryl moved, you know, 20 something years ago from California. And she says it reminds her the most of California is right here. So it's not to, it's not considered Scottsdale when you look at the lines, but right next to it. So this is what I wanted to focus on first. When we talk about Scottsdale area right next to it, Arcadia Biltmore area, you will see, um, I'm going to go actually to the layers map here. Because the cool part about it is you have right here, this is the famous, infamous Camelback Mountain, right? So um, the hiking, everything, it's just really, really pretty. You can see the hiking right there. These are like monster houses with views. If you want 
ultra modern luxury there but this camelback road which if you zoom out can take you i mean all the way out peoria all those areas all the way west so that's the cool thing about phoenix again grid systems you have these massive arterial roads north east southwest that can get you anywhere but um this is an area that people are really really gravitating towards and as we kind of zoom in you'll see there there is some traditional homes in here that you know people buy completely gut remodel but as you look in i mean this is really really nice living and, and it's surprising how green it is that's this actually reminds me a lot of the north when uh northwest is where i'm from and, and having the trees you think of arizona as just this desert but look at i mean in your backdrop you got the mountains right there camelback and you get a lot of green and space in here so you'll get to see kind of the styles of homes this is super a lot of what we're seeing you know they're knocking stuff down building new but um arcadia biltmore is going to be more of your luxury living and it puts you right on top of um old town scottsdale all the shopping right next to really everything so when we think of scottsdale there's the old town area and really some of the most popular areas we're hearing about that some people didn't even know is that arcadia biltmore a lot of the high-end jobs and, and corporate structures right right in here as well so um you know the some of the highest paying jobs in the entire phoenix metro here so lots of great options for food this is kind of the the, the can't miss area for for living if, if you like luxury so moving up these are the areas we see a little bit more like kind of the, not the retirees but yeah maybe retires a little bit older but ganey ranch mccormick super green again beautiful golf courses everywhere there's actually lakes right around here you know you'll see pe people paddle boarding and stuff parks all along here the Scottsdale Road is one of the main arterials that just takes you, you know, all the way from Tempe up to, you know, which was nothing at the time. But, you know, you got the 101 loop around here, but this is taking you all the way up. So you can take this road and cut through all these. The families. OK, so the next part of, of D.C. or Scottsdale is the D.C. Ranch, Desert Ridge, all that area. This is right in here again if you've watched a lot of the videos and you've heard me mention it, this is when I was moving here. They were talking about, oh, it's a can't miss area best schools i wasn't as big of a fan of dc ranch desert ridge just because of the desert decor not every house had it but the majority of them did so it kind of deterred me from it and it landed me you know down the gilbert chandler area because it's way greener but this is people who don't mind that and want really the top schools all the shopping there's a lot of tech companies coming in that's why this whole 101 was was built um you know is because of the growth outward this is really a can't miss area. Again, really nice schools. True North is something that a lot of people haven't heard of. So everything out this way is really starting to to blow up. And if I go to the layers again, you'll notice you're right, you know, at the foothills of a lot of these national um, forests or national forests, the uh, the mountain ranges and hiking. And so you'll see a lot of people um, who enjoy the outdoor lifestyle with side by sides, buggies, that kind of stuff. They're they're living here, so you're really kind of tucked into the to the mountains. So we'll get back out. That's okay. There's like a thousand places to live in Scottsdale. And this is what we've done. You tell us two, three things you like, uh, what you need to be close to. We know individual neighborhoods within here that will be like, oh my God, that'll, that'll be perfect for you. Okay. So I just kind of wanted to give you a, a blind look. We could spend all day looking at this. So next, um, we'll, we'll go out West here, Peoria, Peoria, Glendale. I will just be brutally honest. And again, it's not my where i'm not trying to steer in any way it's public information but you know the the median home price everything's a little bit lower out this way it's starting to you know clean up but that's kind of where all the cool stuff is out this way you know when when the cactus league baseball they have all the stadiums out this way so there's a lot to do over here but we're not seeing a lot of people move relocate there and maybe an area um it, over time it's starting to really pick up and grow and We'll see that, but it's a little bit of an older area. That's probably your best bang for your buck if you really need to stretch the budget. But one area <clears throat> that really was cool, and I had no idea. Again, it's all feeling. And if I were to live anywhere north of, of Phoenix, Scottsdale area, this is where I would I would look at. So right here, this cross section is Happy Valley Road, Lake Pleasant. So Lake Pleasant is actually badass lake you can park your boats there um they got a big old water slide there that you can launch into it but you'll see boating jet skiing and it's really just not too far this area out here when you drive off the 101 loop um and you get into here some of it can be spaced out older stuff from from way back in the day back when it was like stretched out from the city but now it's starting to infill um right around here is a lot of the new construction where you can really stretch your dollar but i got some buddies that live out that way so we go out here 
Um, and they have huge, you know, four or five, six bedroom homes. They're stretching. They get a way bigger lot. They either have that giant like garage attached to the house with 14 foot bay, or they'll have a shop. They got their boats. They got their side by sides, their dirt bikes. Um, you can kind of, it's kind of like the outdoors dream. And then you're, you're close to the lake and just, it's just zip from the house and head up into the mountains and go, go cruising. So that's one thing too. There's a lot of Facebook groups for people who like riding motorcycles. So you can get in quickly to these groups and, and find some amazing rides. But this is an area yeah, up here that you'll see those bigger homes with the shops and, and everybody's got their toys. And it's, it's a little bit more, um, you know, affordable since you're stretched out that far. So really surprising up there if that's kind of your lifestyle. Um, I'm going to bring it back in, you know, obviously we covered this area in, in Scottsdale. So the other one we'll start cruising to is, is Tempe, another one kind of downtown. Everybody thinks it's ASU, but this is where we're starting to see a, um, an influx of people who just kind of want everything to do and, and zero maintenance. Obviously you have the, the, the ASU campus and you've got some of the college stuff down there, but we are seeing, you know, business professionals, singles, even a lot of retirees move to this area because of the incredible condos with the views of Salt River. You have a mountain right down there. You can hike. You have the, the ASU campus, you know, Sun Devils. But it is loaded to the max, which Snooze Eatery is one of our top favorite. You come here, hit Snooze. It's definitely one of our favorite breakfast places. Um, get those, you know, get those uh, cocktails in the morning. But if you, if you cruise down here and see, you'll have just all the breweries, so much stuff to do, College Ave. And so you're, you're seeing people, there's a mountain you can hike right there. So you have all of the uh, shops, restaurants, bars, you can see, I mean, talk about crane talk. They're, they're really pumping this in. And I remember my buddies used to go to ASU back like early 2000s, 2005 ish or something. And we would come here. It was literally just college town. And now, like I mentioned, with all the big condos and stuff going in, people are really enjoying the lifestyle of Tempe um, outside of just your, um, oops, I got to zoom back out here. Nice gravel parking lot there, huh? So that's one thing we're, we're, that we're seeing with Tempe is if you want kind of the walk to everything, um, you head right down to the Salt River, right down here, this giant park, you can go paddle boarding. Um, that's that's an area you would want to look at, you know, condo living style. And there is living, you know, um, homes, you know, right around here that are pretty cool as well. You will see, you know, some college students or, or rentals in that area, but um, we're, we're seeing a really big spike in the, that condo living there. So for me, um, it was the the gilbert chandler areas for me i was so happy to see how green they were um again when i w was looking up north scottsdale it just seemed so dry and rocks and cactus and started coming down to chandler gilbert area and man i was just shocked at how green it was so the cool thing about it too is you think like you're just out in this little suburb area and it's just neighborhoods but it's got a lot of cool things to do i mean there's restaurants everywhere you basically are self-sustained. You've got all of your shopping, anything that you would need really close, great schools, but they've also done a good job of kind of maintaining, uh, like almost like a nightlife thing to do. So, you know, we get a babysitter, the wife and I can go like find where it's not like cookie cutter. Like you're not going to go hit the chilies or Applebee's. Right. And right here, this is, so this is Arizona Ave right here. And if I zoom out, you've got, you know, Chandler, uh, downtown. So what I'm going to do, if you look right here, the, the, state streets you got chicago boston right here is one of my favorite spots i'll zoom in here and i'll go to the layers so we'll cruise right down until she flips so this boston ab is behind us we're on arizona uh we're on arizona ab and these are all restaurants bars breweries i love my brewskis arizona is doing an incredible job with all these new uh, breweries tacos, you name it. So this is a really fun area that is right in the heart of all the suburbs. They do a giant Christmas tree here. You know, you got to have the, that Christmas stuff. There's a lot of activities done right in this area. So this actually kind of shocked me when we saw this, you know, like, oh my gosh, you kind of still get that cool vibe of downtown. Um, even, you know, the old town Scottsdale, it's, it doesn't, it's not exactly like it, but you have kind of that strip mall look and the shopping and the restaurants. So you have that so you're not just all cookie cutter. I thought that was a really cool thing when moving here. So Chandler, Gilbert, you know, some of the best schools, um, and, and we're huge in the sports. Kids, with, you know, play sports, so it's it's competitive there. Um, and lots and lots of, you know, ball fields. Gilbert's just kind of like, a, they're very close to each other. Gilbert's a little bit, like, it just seemed a little bit more, like, older to me. It's got a great little downtown as well. In fact, right by the water tower downtown, 
they hold um big uh like movie night in the park for the and then they want you in, out of there by like nine o'clock ten o'clock it's like done with you know but there's a lot of really cool areas um right on you know gilbert road the, the downtown area as well that it's um independent style shops restaurants bars as well so you're gonna have that parks everywhere and we sh when we vlogged this i was showing some houses that were in that six to eight hundred thousand dollar range that would cost you like three million in the Arcadia Biltmore area, or even more. So you can get like five, six bedroom, big old houses in the Gilbert area. Again, Cheryl, who's on the majority of these videos, um, our partner, she is the master at all of these areas, from Biltmore, Arcadia, Scottsdale, Gilbert, Chandler. I mean, every street, every neighborhood, she's helping people find like that perfect spot and house. So. You just ask her. She even did a video on Queen Creek, an area that's um, starting to get a lot of um, attention as of lately to Chandler Heights. So a lot of this stuff is stretching out. We're just seeing massive growth and it's headed out. But, you know, the cool thing now from Chandler, which you couldn't back in the day, is you have the one-on-one -on -one loops. I mean, you can really get anywhere quickly um, with these major freeways that are that are growing. Mesa is an area. Again, like if you get right in the heart of Mesa, this is it probably, I'll just be brutally honest, it's kind of the area that gives Mesa the, the bad rap. You'll kind of hug up over the freeway there and it's more like, um, you know, the manufactured home, trailer park almost. It's just like an older style of living, but the, the, where we're seeing people out is headed out to the east um, to, you know, some of these new construction. There's master plan communities out here. We vlogged Mesa. Go check out that vlog where, you know, we hit one of those master plan communities that has its own garden. Um, one of the coolest, biggest parts. In fact, I take the kids all the way out there to go hit their parks at this master plan community. They're going to have a big ball field there couple hundred acres it's going to be one of the biggest in phoenix so there's a lot going out on the east side of mesa and that's where there's a ton of room to grow again stretching that budget if you can get out this way if you don't need to be somewhere downtown whatever like you know mesa is where you can really stretch that budget but it's not typically right where the the mesa is it's out to the east a little ways or, or quite a ways so um again that's kind of the the ten thousand foot view i just wanted to show you really these areas that we're seeing so much growth to um, and, and where we're seeing the majority of people who are reaching out the areas that they tend to like. So you probably heard there are a few areas that you like, don't like, that's the hardest thing when moving to Phoenix. And if you don't move to the right spot, you, you're not going to enjoy that Phoenix lifestyle. I can promise you, we've had people, you know, who moved, didn't use us. Uh, and they just were put into a house because they, they bought the house and not the location. And well, they're selling in a couple months and they caught onto our YouTube videos and thought we were a pretty good resource. So it's cool to help them, but that's, we're, we're never going to force the house. The situation we, we want to know you, your reasons, why you move in here, lifestyles. That's when, especially, you know, Cheryl, Jesse, they dig into like, okay, I know these two, three areas you've never heard of that are going to fit your lifestyle. I promise you. And then the tours and it's all feeling, but the only way that we can help you do that is you got to reach out guys. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email days, nights, weekends. We got your back when moving. Phoenix, Arizona. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.